Look, no woman is going to be happy with you chasing her ass all the time. If you live your life chasing a woman and showing up at her doorstep and having flowers and shit and violins and, you know, all that shit, you're killing yourself. Yeah. The relationship is not going to last. So, fellas, I, you know, I'm just going to give you some advice. All that chasing, that shit don't work. No, if she want to be, look, if not she wants to be with you, you, she'll be with you. Believe me. All that chasing shit, you're killing yourself, people. I promise. This is for all my young guys out there. Stop chasing women. Stop trying to constantly please women. Stop being a slave to the sexual aspects and sexual attraction that a woman will bring you. Because at the end of the day, the more you chase women, the more they're gonna run. If you focus on your goals, your values, your intentions, your vision, not only is that gonna build you into a high value man, but that's subliminally gonna attract women to you because women like those characteristics in a man. So the more you don't chase and focus on your goals, the more women you will naturally. How many times have you been talking to a woman and all of a sudden, she makes a minor, insignificant issue into a big problem in the worst possible way. You have just been put to the test if this has happened to you. A man who doesn't understand the true nature of these interactions will only grow irate, disappointed, and resentful of women. But the guy who truly comprehends why women test guys and how to handle it will ultimately prevail, not just with women, but in all facets of life. As men, we must comprehend that life is like a never-ending series of tests that are thrown at us from all directions. And although we don't always succeed on every test, the more tests we pass, the higher the rewards life will bestow on us. The first thing you must understand is why women test men. When you can't figure out why women behave in this way, you just give up on them and turn into a black pill man. Some guys believe that women are the only ones who put them to the test. But the truth is that everyone around you will put you to the test. Your friends, co-workers, and parents will all put you to the test at some point in your life. Even your dog will put you to the test at some point. Thinking the universe operates in accordance with some mystical design in your head is one of the worst errors a man can make. Every single time a woman or life tests you, it's an opportunity waiting to be seized. Consider it an opportunity to develop and become the man you were meant to be. Men will often claim that women who put them to the test aren't worth their time. The truth is that all women are biologically predisposed to put you to the test and determine your character. It's like requesting that the sun not rise in the morning if you don't want a woman to test you. It will carry out the exact instructions that were given to it. Every woman who is interested in you fundamentally wants to know if you are a man capable of leading and caring for her. Consider this. There needs to always be a masculine and feminine dynamic for two individuals to be attracted to each other for a long time. Why does this matter? To put it simply, one individual must assume the biological role of a man, and the other must assume the biological function of a woman. When a woman puts you through a test, she is essentially making sure that you are still capable of leading and loving her. Each woman will test you differently. However, it frequently entails drama over unimportant surface-level issues. You're probably asking yourself, how could she possibly be that upset over something so ridiculous? Using your logical mind. In actuality, it goes far deeper than that. The fact that these tests are conducted on a subconscious level is something that all guys need to be aware of. Because the testing takes place subconsciously, no woman will ever admit that she's evaluating your skill. The way the test is designed allows the woman to learn important details about you without having to directly question you. You might simply tell a fib and respond yes if a woman asked you if you were a good father. Women will test you because they know this intuitively. The testing gives the woman the information she needs while removing your capacity to hide it from her, and she must learn the truth before, during, and continuously in your relationship with her. Now that you know why women test you, it's critical to comprehend the three kinds of men that they look for and get clearer of at all costs. The weak man is the first type. This is the push-up or the kind of guy who a woman cannot trust to stand up for her since he can't even stand up for himself. Being unable to defend oneself is the weak man's main defining quality. The second kind of man is the one who is unsure of what he wants in life, whether it be women or anything else. This kind of man can never make his own decision since he is never sure of himself. The evil guy is the third sort of person that women look out for and avoid at all costs. For the majority of the women he encounters, this man has just one purpose in mind, and it's never a good one. The relationships with this kind of guy are always bad, and he is the worst of the three. You'll probably hear about them on a local news. Women will initially put you to the test to make sure you're not one of these types of guys. And once they have you, they will keep testing you to make sure you don't turn out to be one of them. It's crucial to understand how women test you now that you understand why they do it. 
The fact is that every woman is unique. They all use different techniques to evaluate you. It's preferable to merely gain a feel for it rather than concentrating on simple instances. You'll be able to handle tests more skillfully the more instinctively you can recognize them. Getting upset when being tested is the biggest error you can make. The majority of men have the thought, I'm a strong man. I don't need to play your games or undergo these tests. However, they are unaware that the tests take place subconsciously. When a guy feels a test, he doesn't rationally consider it. Instead, he feels the effects of it subconsciously. By failing these tests, a man will unintentionally cause a woman to lose respect for him, which makes her lose interest in him, which ultimately culminates in total disinterest in it. The congruence test is the one that women employ the most frequently. At its core, it basically serves as a test for you to determine if what you're telling her is who you truly are on the inside. This test can be both verbal and nonverbal at times. Women will therefore use subtle teasing or covert flattery to put you to the test. Others will openly insult you to gauge your response. Congruence tests will be the most difficult for those who lack self-assurance, conviction, and steadfast principles. The compliance test is the second main kind of test given to women. The guy who will struggle the most with this test is the one who fervently desires a woman's approval above almost anything else. It also involves the woman attempting to determine how much she can get away with before you tell her no. Throughout the compliance test, the more you try to appease her and let her essentially walk all over you, the more you will fail the test. A woman will probably ask you for many small or big favors. Gents, when a woman tests you, the best way to handle any test is to maintain a strong masculine frame or mindset and ace her test. Don't overreact. Let it flow. Anyway, that's all for today's episode on Circle of Kings. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. It motivates me to create more content for you. See you next time. Cheers.